Hey, welcome to Symbolic Mind Generation, everyone. Go ahead and hit that like button right now. Today's topic, creeps of the music industry. We're going to get into the deaths and life insurance policies and all this stuff about the music industry. Go ahead and hit that cash out for me, too. We need it over here, y'all. We need it over here. Uh, I don't know if a lot of y'all know, man, my dad was in the music industry from Motown. He was a Motown songwriter, producer, singer. Uh, he wrote the original draft of Let's Get It On for Marvin. As a kid, man, we used to go to, before Motown moved to uh, Detroit, we used to go over in there. My dad used to stay with Marvin Gaye in, the, you know, in his house over there. My dad and my uncle. My uncle L.G. Stover produced what's going on for Marvin Gaye. Uh, later on, you know, I started doing promotions and bringing people to Cleveland. My dad, you know, career was over. He was in Cleveland. My dad did drugs most of his life. And I remember when Motown, when Barry Gordy sold Motown, uh, the new president of Motown was good friends with my dad. So they had came to Cleveland, they were doing a little new promotion thing, you know, was trying to, you know, promote the new Motown. And the first artist that they had was NDRE and Sparkle. So my dad, you know, we had tickets too. And I was trying to get a job, like, man, introduce me to the dude, man, let me get a job, man. I always wanted to be in the music industry. You know, I know I can't sing a dance, but, I, you know, I can do some, you know, behind the scenes type shit. Just give me a job in A&R or something, you know. And my dad was adamant about me not going in the music industry. He said it was things in the music industry that I wouldn't believe that I wouldn't, that he couldn't explain. And I'm going to say this and not to sound weird and shit, right? But uh, if you believe in good and evil, God and the devil and all of that, What's the number one way to for the devil to incorporate itself into society? For evil to go against good? You're going to go through the number one influential business in the world, which is music. Now, that's a lot of conspiracy theories and stuff like that. And, and, uh, and you read about this type of shit and you be like, and I want to bring this up because... Let's go with Michael Jackson, right? After the family found a, a wrongful death lawsuit, the, the doctor, Mr. Conrad Murray, who was serving time for Michael's death, he was hired by AEG, but it came out at the trial that it don't even say by who. Nobody signed when he's you know when he signed the contract you know to help Mike and be Mike's doctor. Nobody else signed it from from AEG. They didn't put their name on it. It's almost like they knew. Now I'm not saying that because they probably didn't. It could have been all a mistake. All this shit is allegedly. I'm just saying uh, it's a lot of creep shit going on in the music industry that everybody who want to go on that path should be suspect about what's going on. I done heard stories about the label sicking the, the stylers on dudes and see if they gonna go. Then they filming it and shit, you know what I mean? The male stylers fucking with the rap male rapper and they filming it, got the shit on tape. You hear all kind of stories like this. And a lot of people are coming out and saying this is the kind of shit that goes on. You know what I mean? And like the, these record labels really want your soul. And it's almost like that's some devil shit. Like the devil's in the industry. Like the whole R. Kelly thing. The only thing that pissed me off about the R. Kelly thing is we know it's a lot more people doing worse shit. Lady Gaga just came by and said, man, she went to some meeting and the dude told her to take her clothes off. And she refused and they said they were going to burn all her, her records, all her copyrights, her rights to her, whatever. It was going to ruin her. Said the dude ended up raping her. And I think she got her pregnant, and she had abortion, and he came, all kind of shit, bro. Like, came in her, raped her, all kind of, like, dogged her. And she just recently came out and said that happened to her. You look at guys that, like, to me, Michael Jackson, Prince, 
people from the eighties who were big. They got huge catalog. You got George Michael that died. You got David Boyd. You got Prince. You got Mike. These labels don't care about the new music. You got a huge catalog. You've been around for 30 years already. They don't care about your new music. The catalog that they have of you, they can, that's more money to, for them from the old music because they don't have to share it with you now because you're gone. You understand what I'm saying? They don't have to share it with you now. You know what I mean? Prince, uh, Warner Music, all that money go to Warner, Prince's money. David Boyd money is spent by Warner and Sony. And George Michael money is all Sony, uh, go to Sony. So you got GD2's companies, bro, that we have to be suspect. We don't know what's going on. And the new thing they're doing now is putting life insurance policy on all the artists. Especially in the rap game. You know what I mean? But in the, let's go back to the Michael Jackson one thing. A production manager for This Is It sent an email to AEG executive Randy Phillips and Paul Gongaware. Then the, uh, MJ was sent home without stepping a foot on the stage. He was a basket case. Like, really? So all this came out at the trial and all of that. Did you know that AEG tried to run like three days before Mike's death and get a life insurance policy on him, saying he was acting weird. The Conrad Murray thing came in. He was a new doctor for Mike. Now, ain't it strange that he was a new doctor and he killed him? I don't know if it's malpractice or whatever, but it's just a whole strange thing around that. And they don't really know who was actually hired to do Conrad Murray because nobody from AG signed, when, you know, signed the paper saying he worked for them. Just weird shit, bro. But it is a money trail from the company. Man, my dad used to be so adamant about me. And I wonder, bro, if he did these stories that I'm hearing, you know what I mean? You remember Usher? He had went on the stage with that, with that Liberace shit on, with that long uh, nail. I'm, I be thinking that maybe it's a devil in the music industry. Imagine if somebody came to you and they was the devil himself. And I know I might be like overreaching here, but seeing Usher in that in, in that Liberace uniform with the with the moon boots, with the little ass shorts on, he looked the gay as fuck. And I'm like, this is Usher. He ain't never did anything like this. Then you look at his face on that vi on that video on shit. He just didn't look right. It's like they make him do shit. That they have no control over, like they put fear in them. Like they put fear in them. Like something in the music industry is putting fear in these people, bro. You seeing stuff, they're like, man, what the fuck? Like, what is going on? Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, is, you know, I, I mean, I mean, I believe in everything. I believe in aliens. I think it's aliens are already here. You look at these ring cameras and some of these, these street cameras is catching all this strange footage. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Just weird shit. At nighttime, you see flashes of this and that, images shooting by. You know, just just weird shit going on in the world today. The Navy just came out and said there's been so many uh, uh, flying objects, unidentified flying objects, just over, over the seas and just all kind of shit. Like, they here. They find all kind of new species of weird creatures in the ocean. Like, weird ass shit, bro. Just weird shit going on. Well, let me take you to this. Let's, let's talk about Empire right now. Empire Records. Now, I ain't saying nothing about Empire because some of these deaths seem like they could be just deaths. But who never know? We never know the extent of the, what the company would do, you know, to get money. And you can gain money from these people, but most of these artists' deaths, and you don't care nothing about them selling no records. Because like I said, you ain't got to share it with them once they gone. This is Empire Records, right? Aaliyah. And we know she died in the, in the plane crash. You know what I mean? It was an over, overload of, of luggage and then too much, you know, in a little bitty plane. It just, it just went up and went straight down. So, you know, ain't no, ain't no conspiracy theory in that. But who never knows? Then you got XXX. Right? You got King Von. 
And we know King Von was a street dude, and they say he had a number of bodies on his, you know, up under his belt. And then when you're in the streets and, you know, and how you live it is how you go. So there ain't nothing suspicious about that. Then you got Young Dolph. Then you just recently you got P&B Rock. All these people is with uh, Empire Records. Like, what the fuck, bro? You ain't going to tell me. You ain't going to tell me the FBI or whoever is not investigating these people and seeing there's any wrongdoing in this shit. You got Aaliyah XXX. King Von, Young Dolph, and PNB Rock. All with Empire Record. Gone. Now, I don't know if you heard, there's a, there's a new thing that these, these record labels are getting life insurance policy on you. And people coming out saying you ain't nothing but a life insurance policy when you go into the music industry. So it got to be some like, everything ain't just like people just dying. We don't know how far people would go. And I'm saying, be careful. You want to go this way, you ain't got no wicked jump shot or you can't tote the football and shit like that, and you, but you got some bars and shit. I'm saying, be careful with this, with this music industry. It's definitely going on some, some shit in there. They, I call them the creeps of the industry, the music in the, in the movie industry. There's a lot of um, child molestation shit going on. There's all kind of chomo shit going on. There's a lot of selling your soul going on in the music and entertainment industry. And I'm saying be careful, man. I'm just saying be careful. You know what I mean? We're seeing people, man, we're coming up. You're like, what the? We're seeing people carry you. Know, oh, come on, bro. We've been watching Usher since he was a kid. He ain't ever went on no fucking on no fucking uh stage with no moon boots and no Liberace dressed up with the long fingernail shit wrapped around his hand. It's like they made him do this shit, bro. It's like he had to pay his dues. Then you see that one thing, like he didn't come back the next time with some oh where well, you can be like, oh boy, uh, Usher getting weird. It just happened one time. You see it a lot. Like, what the fuck? What, like, what was he thinking about when he, like, who, what designer made that for him and he okayed that? Like, I know he ain't okay that outfit, bro. So it makes me think, man, it's just the whole music industry, bro. It made me think, man, the devil is alive, bro. It made me think the devil is alive. I need y'all to hit that like button, share this video. We need to wake people up what's going on. We got to be careful. You know what I mean? Because, you know, us around here, the one thing we can do, we can sing and dance. You know what I mean? And, you know, we'll get signed off, man. We got to be careful. It's a, that industry is fucking insane right now. And you're basically, basically selling your soul. Something in that industry is scaring the hell out of people. Something is scaring the hell out of people, bro. And some people coming out saying shit. French Montana came out and Bushwick Bill and said shit how they is getting life insurance policies on you as soon as they sign you. You know what I mean? So you got to be careful of that because you don't, I mean, these people got, these people powerful. People powerful, bro. That whole behind the scenes of who really might run that, uh, that music industry, bro. That's a, hey, that's a whole nother group. To, that's, you know what I mean? The, the real distributors, the, all of these uh, big companies, bro, we don't know who in charge of that shit. But I'm telling you, man, it's, it's the head of that table, the head of that table in the whole music industry, the head of that table, bro, is a dangerous motherfucker, bro. Just a vicious, dangerous motherfucker. Y'all hear me? The head of that table in that music industry, y'all need to be motherfucking careful about who y'all fucking signing with and what y'all doing. You know what I mean? I ain't mad at the people who just getting money off of YouTube or whatever these streaming companies is, Patreon or whatever, and never sign on nobody. S uh, salute Harry Mac. Harry Mac don't sign on nobody. Just keep doing your freestyle and getting your money like that, bro. You know what I mean? This shit is fucking insane, bro. What's going on? Let me run this back to y'all again. This is Empire Records, right? Aaliyah. XXX. King Von, Young Dolph, and recently PNB Rock. Bruh. <laughs> and you look at these deaths, they like, you know, PNB Rock, they say he got robbed. Going on social media saying he was at Roscoe's and then come up there and try to rob him, whatever. 
And that's how I look. You can't say the empire got nothing to do with this. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows Mike didn't get murdered, Prince didn't get murdered? Who knows? You know what I mean? So, man, I had to do this because I thought about what my dad told me, man. He was like, boy, don't go in the music industry. He said, don't go in. I don't know what happened to him. Man, my dad went downhill real quick about that music. He was home in Cleveland one day, didn't have nothing. I remember going out in California. We used to go to Motown and be riding around in there. Me and my brother used to be on our skateboards in the Motown parking lot. So everybody knew, you know, who my dad was and we was his kids and shit. So I mean, one day, man, I'm coming to, we going from the sixth floor on the skateboard, shooting go to the parking lot, flying. And we get to the first floor and we shoot out on the sidewalk and hit the brake before we go into the street. I mean, one day, man, I almost knocked over Rick James, man. He was getting out of hoopty out the back seat. Somebody was, was driving and they was in a hoopty, little raggedy ass car. I'm like, damn, that's Rick James. He like, hey, little Kenny, watch where you going. You know what I mean? Shit, crazy. You know what I mean? I think of all these people, man, that all these labels that have more to gain from these artists is death, bro. And that's a scary situation to be in, bro. They have more to gain from your death. From your death. They putting life insurance and polys out on you. You know what I mean? So I want all my people to be careful about this music shit. Be real careful about this music and this actor, this, these movie shit. Be real careful, bro. A lot of people, a lot of little child stars and came out saying they'd been molested. You know what I mean? You got the, the Me Too moving with these uh with these the actors or these female actors are saying they got raped, they got raped, they got molested. All of this shit is fucking for real. That's why I'm so pissed about the R. Kelly situation. And I'm not condoning nothing that R. Kelly did. But Rico. You hit him with the Rico and the and the what's the name? The pimping and the what's the name taking come on, bro. Come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, people are, like, really coming out saying they this happened to them in this industry and nobody else is getting arrested. Nobody getting arrested. So, and like I said, I ain't got down and nothing. Him messing with no little kids and stuff. It's just look at the charges, though. What are these charges? You know what I mean? You, but you call them, you charge them, man, with racketeering? Like, the judge, he had $27,000 on his books. The judge said, get it off. Like, come on, why are you messing with, like, the man, ain't can't, he can't have no money now? He got to be all the way broken by y'all? <sighs> this symbol of my generation, man. I ain't going to, if I need to do a part two to this, I will. Uh, I'll wait on y'all comments and shit. But, man, y'all leave a comment on this shit. Share this shit, like this. And uh, if I need to do a part two, I will. I'm going to see how y'all respond to it. But let me do this again. Empire Records, Aaliyah, XXX, King Von, Young Duff, and recently PNB Rock. All for one from one label. This is about my generation.